All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash. I have honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to you alike. Um, I just wanted to do this quick video, okay? You know, real quick, not not a long video at all, but um, just basically on this uh, Area 51, okay? And you know, this this whole myth, all right? Because usually when people think of Area 51, all right, specifically dealing with the UFOs. They, they, they think that, you know, it's a place where the government has uh, crashed UFO ships and, and, and alien uh, alien samples and all that stuff. That, that That's not true, all right? Because, for number first off, all right, first off, within those UFOs, those so-called UFOs, all right, those chariots are the angels, all right? Not no, not, and we keep saying it, man, it's not no little green men with big black eyes or little gray men with, no. It's angels, man. All right, the angels of the heavenly Father are the ones that ride in them chariots. Okay, and there's no way in hell that these these devils were even able to 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 get their hands on an angel. All right, hell no. All right, they can't even they can't even uh, uh, keep up with the speed of the chariots. Okay, because the chariots, all right, the UFOs, they're not just some alien technology. Those are those are uh, 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 spiritual vehicles. Okay, straight from the spirit world. And you think you think. Uh, a third dimensional uh, uh, Edomite, all right, creation of the Heavenly Father is going to be able to capture the, the Lord's angels. Nah, that doesn't, that's not, that doesn't exist. All right, they, they don't have UFOs there and they don't have uh, alien, alien bodies and, and angels and no, all right, because if you understand that within those UFOs are angels, then you can understand that there's no way for Esau or the so-called white man to have captured one. Like, what the hell is a, is a crashed UFO ship? So you're telling me they're going to come from the spirit world, all right, and they're going to gonna come and crash on Earth? That doesn't make sense, man. That's that's fiction, all right? That's Esau's movies. Okay, so I got a quick precept. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. That's the Most High, all right? Who's God? And that, that shows you that the Most High has a spiritual body because it, it, people, when they think of the Most High, they think of some some uh, mist, all right, or just some air. <laughs> air doesn't sit, bro, all right? You have to have a, 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 in order to sit on your throne, you have to have a body, all right? Because the scriptures tell you that there's a, there's a spiritual body and there's a terrestrial body, there's an earthly body. It says, whose garment was white as snow, all right, um, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like a fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. Okay. Well, them wheels are the chariots. Okay. As burning fire. So how the hell is Esau going to uh, 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 catch a, a chariot? You know, how the hell is he going to do that? It's not, it's not, it's not <laughs> the most I didn't because first off, that's not even a, a, a part of prophecy. All right. The scriptures say that there's going to be war in heaven. All right. And the damage that those you those chariots are gonna do to this place, all right. When the Lord unleashes it, it's it's gonna be in, incomparable, man. There's gonna be no casualties on the side of the heavenly Father, man. Only on this side. And when they see the Lord coming with the angels, they're gonna be scared. All right, they're gonna be scared. Let me get this. Um, this is Habakkuk chapter three, verse. Uh, Verse 1, a prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet of uh, Sh Shigianoth. O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. All right, representing the uh, the prophecies. Okay, because when you read the prophecies, man, it, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not something that's, that's, you know, for the most part good. All right, especially for this place. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath, remember mercy. All right. Yeah, the Lord is gonna remember mercy on His elect, because the rest of the rest, anybody that's not of the Lord's elect, all right, uh, two third or heathen. If you're in America, you're gonna be completely done, all right. And if you're a two third, wherever you are, you're gonna die, all right. So it says the Most High came from Teman, and the Holy One from Mount Paran. Salah has glory covered the heavens, all right, representing the chariots, okay, and the earth was full of His praise. And his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand. Okay. Now this is this is also referring to the chariots. Those horns are talking about the what 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 today would be called laser beams. 
you know? It says, and there was the hiding of his power. So when you go into that word, horns, all right, just for lack of time, I just I'll read a definition here. Uh, it says, horn of strength, um, uh, uh, flask, horn, blah, blah, right here, of rays of light, okay? Of rays of light, like a laser beam. All right, and and it, it talks about that here in um in the book of Second Ezra. All right, so I'll, this will be the last one, last precept. It's in Second Ezra chapter thirteen, verse one. It says, "And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea, and it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. That man is talking about Yahweh Shai, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ." All right, and the thousands of heaven are, are the angels, okay? Because the scriptures tell you um, in Revelation, I believe the first chapter, the seventh verse, behold, he cometh with the clouds, all right? And the, the clouds is talking about the so-called UFOs. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall will because of him, even so am I. Okay? So going back, it says... Um, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. And whatsoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. All right, now that's not his physical mouth, but it's referring onto this, onto his chariot. Okay, because those laser beams are like, like we read here in Habakkuk. Okay, the the the, the horns. All right, those horns or those laser beams are what's going to be destroying. All right, uh, along with those nuclear missiles, it's going to be destroying America, all right, and people too. So it says here, uh, <clears throat> all they burned that heard his voice. Because those laser beams are concentrated fire, okay? Like as the earth faileth when it uh, feeleth the fire, see? Because what? That's, that's, that's what it is. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was a gathered there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. And this is talking about all these other nations. Okay, because in this third world war, in the midst of this third world war, that's when the Lord is gonna make his appearance. And these other nations, all these nations going to war against each other, are gonna stop and come together with each other to try and fight against the Lord. Alright? And that's the multitude of men. Alright, it says out of number because it's a whole lot. Their armies and all, that's a whole lot from the four winds. It says, and I, and, but I beheld, and lo, he had graven himself um, a great mountain and flew up upon it. That mountain is, is, is talking about the size of his chariot. That's how big the Lord's UFO is. But I would have seen the region or place wherein the hill was graven, and I could not, because that's how, that's how big it was. It's like you're looking at a flying mountain in the air. You can't see where it ends. You can't see the corner. That's how big it was. It says, and after this, I beheld, and lo, all they, because see, uh, hey man, these chariots, they're so, they're so, they're so majestic. They can change si uh, 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 shapes. They can change sizes. You know, it says, and after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet durst fight, because when these chariots come, man, they, they, they terrorize. Uh, uh, people, man, people who don't know what they really are, but even these elites who do know what they are, they're scared because they know why those chariots are here. So how the hell are they gonna catch catch a chariot and put it in uh, Area Fifty One and what? Uh, 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 cut up an angel? <laughs> cut up an angel? <laughs> like hell, man. It says, and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war, because what his chariot was gonna do all the work. You know, and they, you, you know, you, you know, they had their, their, their uh, weapons that we haven't even seen before. All right. Weapons that they specifically uh, are designed to try and fight against the Lord and his angels. OK. And that's 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 why it says here the violence of the multitude that came. All right. But I only but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips, a flaming breath and out of his tongue, he cast out sparks and tempests. All right. This is all talking about his chariot. All right. It's metaphorical. It's not the Lord does not is not physically going to open his mouth and breathe fire on people. All right. His chariot is going to do that. OK, it says, and they were all mixed together. 
she that concentrated a uh, 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 fire and the blast of fire, the flaming breath and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burned them up every one so that so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only the dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. All right. And just like you see in movies like War of the Worlds and so on and so forth, how the, them chariots disintegrate people. That's how that's how that's how concentrated it is. That's how powerful it is. All right. And you see it in all these movies when aliens invade, they always have laser beams coming out of their chariots, destroying and all that stuff. And whatever it hits, it just completely destroys it. That's all from the scriptures. All right. And this is the power of the Lord's chariots. So how the hell is Esau going to have captured these and put them in there? In, in every, every 51, yeah, it does exist where they have experiments and they, they you know, I mean, they research. All right. But they do not have uh, UFOs over there. OK, if you understand what what these what these so-called UFOs really are and, and who are in them, you're going to understand that that's not possible for Esau. All right. And or his scientists to have captured them. OK, that's not possible. All right, below will end this video is edifying unto the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Shalom.